Good morning from our little town. So the main town is over there and sort of up a hill as well, so sort of separated out weird. But the bay where we were last night where we saw the manta ray is just over there. So now we are starting with food. This is how we've been eating pretty much as we've been going on. Little plastic bowls like that, a cereal. I'm gonna have my Weetabix, some chicken schnitzels. So it's working out really well at the moment. So no food poisoning, no dying. So this is the Danny Morris egg schnitzel sandwich. This is the sauce if you're wondering what's the flavor. That's what I personally like. Squash it down. Ah. <laughs> when you're hungry, that feels a good hole. That is just a very good all round comfort warming sandwich. We are on the Boardwick Walk, which is the far side, and we were recommended by our friends to come here and check it out which is this and it follows it all the way around and you just see the water now the tide is out and even at this time of the year in the winter it's still gorgeous so if you follow the boardwalk around it actually brings you out to the ocean front that over there is montague island where you can get boats rides to it all around you have the hills at the back clear blue ocean you want to surf you can surf you want to snorkel over there? You can do that. It's all around. It's perfect. It's beautiful. I let you get to me once now, baby, but I'll never let you win again. We are at Bingy Bingy Point, right there. If you don't believe me, if you think I'm joking, at the Eurobadella National Park. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong as well, but that's where we are. I let you get to me, get to me. I let you get to me. I let you get to me, get to me. I let you get to me. We have been driving and driving now and we are nearly at Batesman's Bay which is basically the turning off from the coast where we go inland towards Canberra but we are just on this little tourist road that the diverts of the Princess Highway and look at this lovely viewpoint right here just one of the little towns right here but it is actually stunning wow the little town we're in is called Bewley if you're on the internet there is nothing that tells you anything about this place other than brutally pristine clear waters which is obviously lovely but tell us more advertise yourselves more you've got beautiful stuff tell us about the tourist road it didn't say there was a tourist road and then you've got beautiful lookouts like that advertise yourselves since our walk we have been sitting in charlie right here waiting for a storm to pass which was just a massive downpour of heavy tropical lovely rain we have a lovely lovely view of the sea okay it's rainy and cloudy and it can look 10 times better with the sun i'll admit australia is one of the few places i know where it can be weather conditions like this if it was in england for example look at the sky it would be miserable but here it's still not sort of not miserable it has a charm and then it has more charm that you can have a barbecue as you see right here Ta -da! This is the coldest night I've had so far and now we are going down to Bateman's Bay back down there and yes we did sleep just off the highway as you can see but I, I need to warm up first I can't even feel my toes so so we have had our lovely cereal breakfast and it has warmed up so much down here compared to up in the hills and you get the view here little islands down there yeah it's just really lovely and we've met a couple from canberra already who are looking at the drone again so we're really looking forward to seeing canberra i'm very intrigued always have been intrigued by it just a lovely lovely view to start the day so we're back in the car now we are now on our way to canberra you join us in a car park in the city center of Canberra now. Secondly, it is damn cold. More cold than the coast, I think, from where we came from. And we're now going to the Apple store to get my new computer. I can't wait for that. If you see behind me, my little backpack thing, I've now got my Mac. We are outside of the shopping mall now. So the shopping center is Canberra center, but it spreads around the whole area, sort of like a square. But this is what it's like. You've got all your shops and that. 
going around restaurants and whatever. Just behind me is the Canberra Theatre Centre and you have this nice little walkway here and there and with all the little water fountains. Some of the buildings here look quite square. I don't know what to say. But in terms of what it's got, it's, it's a city. It's got everything that you'd want to need. But this is the theatre right here. That's one big long shopping centre by the way. I didn't actually realise how big it is, but it stretches on all the way down there as well. The bridge we're on right now is actually the main road bridge where it takes you straight in line with the parliament building straight down there you do need a car to get around because we are literally the only people walking on here now you can walk from where we are straight down to parliament it's 50 minutes it's just not that inviting to walk i, I don't know i don't know how to explain it but you know what i mean you're next to this sort of main road you're better off driving <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what else to say. We have now found the actual lake which is behind me. In 1908, they couldn't decide if it was between Sydney or Melbourne where they wanted the capital to be. So they actually decided in 1908 that the, this would be the site. So there was actually, before anything else was here, this lake is man-made. And there's actually a few houses, a couple of cottages and buildings in the area that were built here in the 1800s, mid-1800s, because this was actually all a floodplain. nationwide competition for ideas of how the city should be built and in 1913 they chose an idea by an architect called Walter Burley Griffin so they wanted the CBD the city center in one part the parliament over there and in between all of these spaces were big natural green areas so pretty much what you see this lake is named after him so Lake Burley Griffin Lake and this is all man-made. Another interesting fact as well as to why the city grew especially after the Second World War is down to Australia's longest serving Prime Minister called Sir Robert Menzies. He calls himself the Apostle of Canberra. Part of the reason it grew so much after the war is down to him and that's how it's seen. So the city itself as we know about it's got a very young population. It's got the university here which I think is very popular and the population is only over just over 400,004. See it's only one of the few cities in the world built specifically to be a capital so we're at our Airbnb now and this is our new little friend there's loads of them dogs everywhere <laughs> he's literally like a little pig <laughs> he's so cute <laughs> he's so excited ah! so I've now got to back up my Mac and do some stuff with that so I hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think yeah we'll be exploring some more camera tomorrow so I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching see you in the next one bye good night